cuddles are cozy, comforting, and healthy for you. And it helps you to deal better with stress. And nothing brings on those vibes better than the warm aromas of pumpkin spice in the air. Today we're making healthy no-bake pumpkin bites that can satisfy your snack cravings and pairing it with a hot pumpkin spice drink that will make you want to snuggle into the night. And for those bad hair days, we've got tips for using head scars on the next episode. Presented by the Sui Hero Electric Gang. Aloha, I'm Valerie Joseph with Fashion Sense. Reselling runway looks to the walkways of Hawaii and providing smart solutions to all your fashion needs. Hi friends, it's 3 p.m. You're feeling lethargic, and maybe you're looking for just a little something to pick you up and get you through the rest of your day. Sound familiar? It's those afternoon snack cravings. Well, I have an easy and healthy recipe for you. Because let's face it, when those afternoon snack cravings hit, you just want something easy that you can pop into your mouth. Today we are making no-bake pumpkin bites. And with just seven ingredients, I know this recipe can satisfy any snack cravings, any time of day. And the best part is that you don't need to wait for the fall season to make this recipe. If you're a pumpkin spice lover like I am, the beauty is that you can have this any time of year. So let's get started. All you need is a bowl. We're gonna add in some almond butter. Now you can use any nut butter of choice. I happen to like the flavor that this recipe has with the almond butter. And y'all know that I like using nut butter with just one ingredient, the nut. Mmm, nice and creamy. And some pumpkin puree. I'm so glad that this is available all year round because not only do I crave the pumpkin spice during the fall season, it's like any time of year I'm craving it. Oh my gosh. Okay, then we're gonna add some maple syrup. And some vanilla extract. And I'm just going to mix this up and combine it nicely together. Look at the color it's forming. It's like my dress. Okay, next I'm gonna add in some coconut flour. You can use almond flour if you wish. Coconut flour is gluten-free. It has tons of fiber. A great alternative to all-purpose flour in any of your baking recipes. I'm gonna add some pumpkin spice. Makes everything nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. And if your nut butter doesn't have any salt, add a little bit of salt just to wake up the flavors. And just combine all this together. Oh my goodness. It's that gorgeous color. It's copper. It's caramel. It's like toffee. It's like pumpkin spice. And I am gonna add in some mini chocolate chips. Now I found some gluten-free vegan chips. So it's a great option if you are watching your refined sugar. Then we're just gonna stick this dough in the refrigerator to chill for a few minutes. Okay, so while that's chilling, let's melt some dipping chocolate. And I love that you can now get dipping chocolate in its own microwavable container. So convenient. We're gonna pray that I don't burn this batch. So once you've melted your chocolate down, all you need to do is roll your dough into tiny little bite-sized balls. I'm gonna rinse my hands and then just dip them into your chocolate. This part is a little messy. I've got 
extra chocolate. I'm just gonna add more fancy drizzles to the top. It's like art. <laughs> And then all you need to do is stick these in the refrigerator for the chocolate to harden. For busy babes on the go, yes. what are some tips that you have for us so that we are getting the nutrition that we need to fuel our bodies every day? Yes, I have some go-tos that I absolutely love and live by. Okay. Cucumbers. Mm. I absolutely love cucumbers and to prepare them, you just wash them and cut. Oh. That's it. It has a lot of nutrients, vitamin K, magnesium, potassium, and one fun fact is yes. it's a natural diuretic. So it helps to guard against blow. Oh, yeah, nice. we don't like that, yeah. This one here does need to be carried around okay. um, in a cooler, mm. you know, just in case you're running around all day. Right. I want to show you something here. Oh. So this here is my little cooler bag. Cute. Yeah. Feel that lightweight. It's so lightweight. Yeah. Oh, and I love how it's compact. Yes. And it's a cooler bit. Water can go on the side. Yeah, all that good Cute. stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's gonna be for the cucumber. Okay. Now, my next two that I have right here are going to be celery. It has a lot of nutrients and it's also anti-inflammatory. <gasps> when you talk about, you know, snack. It's a crunch. Yes. Sometimes you just need it. I need to crunch into something. I need mm -hmm. to bite and I need to hear that. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> it's just to help feel satiated. Yeah. And so the cucumber, or excuse me, the celery is perfect for that. Mm -hmm. And the one right next to it, of course, is going to be our little baby carrots, action packed with nutrients, uh, vitamin C, vitamin A, all that good stuff. Now, these two right here are lower maintenance. So, what I mean by that is you can literally just wash it, mm -hmm. put it in a Ziploc bag, throw it in your purse or your handbag. Uh -huh. And there you go, you have it, you're set. The last one over here that I have is going to be our source of protein, which okay. is gonna be our eggs. These are boiled eggs, and so you'll just take it along with you, you'll leave it shell, put it in again, a Ziploc. When you're ready to eat it, you just break, break open the shell and attack those egg whites. And now do the hard boiled eggs need to be refrigerated? Should we keep them in the cooler or? You can keep them in the cooler if you have one around, but uh -huh. also it's a little lower maintenance. Um, oh. You know, depending on how long you're going. Uh -huh. um, I know busy boss babes are always on the go. These are just wonderful go-tos that I absolutely I love. love. I love, mm -hmm. you always have the best tips. And Thank guys, you. if you wanna see more tips, head to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com and remember, Feel your body. Once your chocolate has hardened, all you need to do is put them on a cute little platter. Now you can store them in the fridge or the freezer. I can't wait for you to make these. And guys, if you want to see any of our recipes or any of our episodes, head to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com. If you have any no-cook recipes that you'd like to share with us, 
send them our way as well. I am going to dig in. Mm. It's so good. It's like the center of a pumpkin pie wrapped up in chocolate. Oh my gosh. Guaranteed to satisfy your afternoon snack cravings. Mmm. We wanted something total building automation. We chose Light Cloud because of that reason. Our future is to be totally off grid. I'm Daryl Suhiro, president of D Suhiro Electric Inc. We are using Light Cloud to control all of our lighting and we were able to integrate it with our mechanical system, which controls our AC system and our exhaust fans in our restrooms and the warehouse ventilation. Our favorite feature is being able to totally control every light fixture in this warehouse. Summarizing Light Cloud, total building lighting automation. Stylish, modern, sophisticated, chic. A lifestyle boutique designed to make women feel equal and empowered. Posh by Valerie Joseph, Ward Village. Hi friends! A facial is a multi-step, multi-purpose skin treatment that includes steam, facial masks, exfoliating, facial massages, with a variety of creams and lotions. Some are highly hydrating while others are firming and restoring. Today we are chatting with our beauty expert and my dear friend Deidre Harvey, owner of Zolash Pro, about the fairly new Diamond Glow. Hi Deidre. Hi Val. What's all the buzz about this Diamond Glow? So Diamond Glow is a medical grade facial mm -hmm. that exfoliates, extracts, and infuses Skin Medica brand oh. serums into your skin. Oh wow! So I've had facials in the past, but what makes the Diamond Glow so special? So with the Diamond Glow, uh -huh. there is a diamond tip that oh. is used that makes it really unique. Uh -huh. So what it's doing, it's really getting in there and exfoliating the skin mm -hmm. a little differently than an ordinary facial. Oh. Right? And on top of that, extract the pores, really get out that debris out there, and use that diamond tip to also infuse mm -hmm. the medical grade serums we're talking about. So it sounds like the Diamond Glow has this magic wand that can give you this radiance because it'll exfoliate more effectively, extract more efficiently, which then in turn allows your skin to really accept the infused medical grade serums. Exactly. So we recommend it once a month mm -hmm. and it really helps with the glow of the skin, mm -hmm. radiance, fresher looking skin. Mm -hmm. But if you can do it once a month on a routine basis, you're also going to get a lot of benefits such as reducing the fine lines and wrinkles, mm -hmm. um, reducing the dark or aging spots, uh -huh. and just overall a glow, a better glow. Oh. That sounds amazing. Guys, if you want more beauty tips, head to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com. If you want more information about this glow, make sure you head to their website or follow them on their Instagram at Zolash Pro. We'll be right back. Hawaiian Coffee Body Scrubs Moisturizing Rejuvenating Energizing Sun-kissed Alluring Beautiful Handmade in Hawaii with Aloha Coco Java
Hi friends! If you're looking for something cozy, this hot pumpkin spice drink is exactly what you need. It's delicious in the morning as a coffee substitute and comforting in the evening when you just want something to relax and unwind. Think of it as a hot chocolate with pumpkin or a pumpkin spice latte but without the espresso. And it's so easy to make. All you need to do in a medium saucepan, add some pumpkin puree, add some almond milk, and I'm using unsweetened almond milk. Some turbinado sugar, which is made from premium brown sugar and has a great toffee taste. And some pumpkin spice. And we're just gonna whisk it together, combine it and heat it. Oh my gosh, it's looking so amazing. Pour it into some cups. Look at that goodness. Add some whipped cream. Sprinkle some pumpkin spice. And garnish with a cinnamon stick. Mm. The aromas of pumpkin spice. I'm gonna have to take a sip. Mmm, it's so creamy. It's dreamy. I'm gonna have to find a cozy, comfy blanket to cuddle up under. Hi friends. Buying a home is one of the biggest decisions you'll make. It's one of the largest purchases you'll make, but it's such an exciting time. Today we are joined by our real estate expert and my dear friend, Denise Miyahira from Island Pacific Real Estate, who will have some tips on how to start. Hi Val, thanks for having me. So I do have my clients coming to me and really excited and they want to buy their first home, but they just don't know where to get started. Right. So some of the process that we're going to do is we're going to create a team. Mm -hmm. And so the team is going to consist of your realtor okay. and your loan officer. Your loan officer is going to help you determine how much mortgage and how much house you can actually afford. Mm. And once you have this number, you're kind of going to know what your monthly payments will look like and how much down payment you need. Okay. Um, and then you can go and work with your realtor. But also, some people look for fixer-uppers too, right? Not just a fully right. renovated, but fixer-uppers are also part of a new home buying process too, exactly. right? Exactly. And that's what your realtor is there to do, is to help guide you mm -hmm. and also help give you the advice that you'll need. That'll help you focus and find that perfect house for, for you and your family. Well, what a great idea to start a team. It's important. First, get your loan officer on your team, and with that loan officer, you'll be able to find out how much house that you can afford. Second, work with your realtor. Give your real, let your realtor know how much house you can afford, and give your realtor your wish list on what it is that you'd like to see in your new home. And then realtors can help identify places that you may not even know of and they can help show you. Your Absolutely Val and you've done such a great job. You found your home, you found the dream home and we put everything together and it was a process. Right? It was. It took two years. It took us two years to find our dream home but it happened. And we're happy. And we're happy. <laughs> Thanks Denise. All great tips. Guys, if you want more tips, head to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com. If you want more information on how to purchase a new home or any other real estate information, contact Denise directly. Thanks, Val. And together, we'll find the keys for your new happy home. That's right. We'll be right back.
We wanted something total building automation. We chose Light Cloud because of that reason. Our future is to be totally off grid. I'm Daryl Suhiro, president of D Suhiro Electric Inc. We are using Light Cloud to control all of our lighting and we were able to integrate it with our mechanical system, which controls our AC system and our exhaust fans in our restrooms and the warehouse ventilation. Our favorite feature is being able to totally control every light fixture in this warehouse. Summarizing Light Cloud, total building lighting automation. Hi friends! Taking inspiration from the 50s and the 60s, the headscarf fashion is coming back in a big way! Not only is it great to protect your hair, but it's great for those bad hair days or for days when you don't want to do your hair! It also adds a nice finishing touch to your outfit without overdoing it. The pony tie. One of the absolute easiest ways to incorporate a scarf into your look is by simply tying it around a ponytail. This works with pretty much any size or shape so long as you can secure it in a knot. Another quick and easy style that is very popular is the bandana. Simply fold a square scarf diagonally and wrap it around your head, tying the loose ends under your hair at the nape of your neck. A cool 70s vibe. And for a little bit of chic, here's a cool side knot style. Fold your scarf diagonally in half two times to create a wide band. Wrap it around your head and tie the knot at the side of your neck. A cool look to show off some glamorous earrings. Let's take a quick break with Gina. When we come back, we've got a few more styles to share. Infinite possibilities. That's the theme of today. Our bodies are so miraculous that we can do so many amazing things. And today, we are going to walk on air. We're gonna work our core in such a fun way that we'll still be challenging. All you're going to need is some space. Let's go ahead and take it to the floor in a supine position. Spine to the floor. Elongate our legs in front of us. Then from here, tuck through. Allow your lower back to come to the floor. We're going to go ahead. You're going to take your hands either by your side, your hips, or to your side, shoulder level. It's up to you. From here, we're going to make sure that that lower back is flush to the floor, and then you're going to peel those legs up in a hover position. Pressing, pressing, and then let's bend the back knee, flex through the back foot, press the heel away. Bend, flex, bend, press to the heel, bend, press to the heel. Lo and behold, we're walking through the air. Now let's walk back down, shall we? And again, bend that back leg, press the heel away from the body. Bend, press, bend, press. Keep going, I know, it's challenging. You can do it. Bend, press. Once we get a few inches from the floor, let's hover. Now, Bend your knees, rock yourself up back to the top. You're gonna wanna be sure to do a few of these to get that core working and all fired up so that we can strengthen and use our stabilizers. Remember, always be kind to your body.
back. We've showed you one version of the bandana style. Here's another version. If you're really not feeling your hair or just want to cover up a third day blowout, simply fold a large scarf in half diagonally, then tie the two opposite ends around and at the back of your head. Another easy option is the twisted headband. This is cool. Using a square scarf, fold it in half diagonally. Start by wrapping it from the nape of your neck up to the top of your head. Tie the ends in a knot and tuck the loose ends under. This next style is called the scarf braid. A unique and fun twist to the traditional braid. This one requires a long, thin, narrow scarf. Pull the scarf through the elastic of your ponytail and then use it as one third of your braid. Tie the loose ends into a cute bow. And voila! Play around with mixing and matching prints and colors. Above all, have fun with fashion. Thank you so much for joining us. It's always great sharing with you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, or head to our website to send us your favorite recipes or questions. We'd love to share them on the show. Let's stay connected. Until next time, be fabulous, be beautiful, be the best version of you. I don't think I can share this, it's so good. I just wanna eat it all myself. Oh my God, I didn't press record. No problem. I'm not even gonna move. <laughs> you know what, we didn't take it.